Paris, the magnificent city of light, is embarking on one of the most ambitious urban infrastructure projects in Europe's history, the Grand Paris Express. This vast expansion of the existing metro network seeks to revolutionize mobility across the Paris metropolitan region and propel the city into the future through sustainable public transit. The Grand Paris Express aims to address the mobility and connectivity challenges facing the heavily populated Isle de France region today. With over 12 million residents spread across 12,000 square kilometers, the need for efficient regional transportation is clear. However, the current network is oriented towards bringing suburban commuters into central Paris, leaving cross-suburban journeys slow, complex, and indirect. This has led car usage and air pollution to skyrocket, as many opt to drive instead of navigating inconvenient metro and suburban rail trips. Valuable time and energy is lost due to the lack of suburban-to-suburban -suburban public transit options. To transform this situation, the Grand Paris Express will construct four new automated metro lines circling Paris, extending over 200 kilometers and adding 68 new stations. Integrated into the existing web of metro, tram, and suburban rail, these new lines will greatly facilitate suburb-to-suburb -suburb commutes and regional travel without passing through congested central Paris. This 30 billion euro mega project incorporates cutting edge approaches from precision 3D modeling to twin tunnel boring machines working in parallel to construct the new routes. When completed, forecast for 2030, the Grand Paris Express will propel Paris to the forefront of global sustainable transportation. The Grand Paris Express is conceived to address a geographical mismatch. While Paris proper is a compact city well served by public transit, its surrounding metropolitan region, or Isle de France, dwarfs it at over 12 times its size. Home to over 12 million residents, this massive zone contains important economic hubs, airports, and extensive suburban communities. Despite its sprawl, the Isle de France region needs effective transportation to connect its residents across its expanse. However, the current network reflects the legacy of an earlier era when most suburban commuters flowed inward to Paris for work each day. The extensive commuter rail lines of the RER, Metro, and Tram networks are designed to shuttle people from the suburbs to the city center. Cross-suburban travel is generally neglected. To journey from one suburban destination to another, travelers are often forced to ride into central Paris just to transfer lines, adding substantial time and complexity. This has caused severe mobility issues as travel patterns across the Isle de France region have evolved. Increasingly, people both live and work in the suburbs rather than commuting into Paris each day. Cross-suburban trips now represent over 40% of journeys, but the transit network has lagged behind this trend. The results of the mismatch are clear. The disproportionate focus on central Paris has led to expanding suburbs and airports becoming more car-centric. With public transit inconvenient for cross-suburban travel, residents have turned to driving. This has created heavy congestion, slowed economic development in the suburbs, and worsened air pollution. The Grand the Paris Express directly tackles these mobility deficiencies through four new metro lines that circle Paris and connect different branches of the existing network. Linking suburbs directly without passing through central Paris will enable quick, easy journeys across the region. For example, traveling from Charles de Gaulle Airport to Versailles will be transformed from a two-hour journey with multiple transfers to a direct 45-minute metro ride. Not only will this save residents time, but it will also promote economic growth, job access, and environmental sustainability across the Paris region. With its focus on improving regional connections, the Grand Paris Express is a mobility revolution tailored for the needs of a 21 saint century metropolitan area. The Grand Paris Express expands the metro network through four new automatically operated lines, 15, 16, 17, and 18, as well as extensions to existing lines. Over 200 kilometers of new tracks and 68 stations will be built, more than doubling the size of the current metro system. Let's look at some key details of the new routes. Line 15, circling the city at over 75 kilometers long, 
Line 15 will be one of the longest automated metro lines in the world. Built as a loop line, it orbited Paris from Noisy Champs to Champigny Center. Line 15 will have 37 stations and is scheduled to open in multiple phases between 2025 and 2030. Line 16, traveling north-south between Saint-Denis-Playel and Noisy Champs for about 50 kilometers, Line 16 will improve connectivity between Charles de Gaulle Airport, Central Paris, and destinations south. Its construction is divided into two phases, with the first 10 stations opening in 2026. Line 17, spanning 27 kilometers with nine stations, Line 17 connects Charles de Gaulle Airport to the important business district of La Défense, continuing west to Nanterre. Built in conjunction with Line 16, it is set to begin operation in 2026 to 2028. Line 18, linking Versailles to Orly Airport in the south, the 35 kilometer long Line 18 will greatly expand metro access with 10 stations. It will feature both underground and elevated sections as it passes through diverse landscapes. The target opening is 2027 to 2030. Extensions. To maximize integration, extensions are being added to existing lines like Line 14 and Line 11. Line 14 will be expanded north and south to join the new routes. Additionally, a future extension could lengthen Line 1 further into the suburbs. When finished, every new line will directly link with multiple existing metro, tram, and suburban rail services for easy transfers. With its orbital pathways and suburb-to-suburb -suburb routes, the Grand Paris Express Metro expansion promises to revolutionize not only mobility, but also urban development across the Paris region. The construction of this massive project is being matched by its ambitious goals and visionary thinking. The Grand Paris Express provides a model of how society sustainable, forward-looking infrastructure investment can transform transportation networks to meet the needs of major metropolitan areas well into the future. The scale of the Grand Paris Express construction project is immense, with over 200 kilometers of new track being buried under existing metro lines, utility tunnels, building foundations, rivers, and more. Engineers employ a range of innovative techniques to build the new lines efficiently while minimizing disruption at the surface. Key methods include tunnel boring machines, TBMs, to carve through rock and soil, 18 custom-built 100-meter-long TBMs work non-stop underground. The huge machines can tunnel 15 meters a day. Short tunnel sections. Instead of digging all at once, tunnels are constructed in 3.5 kilometers chunks, enabling faster progress by working on multiple sections simultaneously deep tunnels. At around 30 meters deep, the new tunnels are twice as deep as the original 19th century metro. This helps them avoid intersecting existing infrastructure. Waterproofing. At the deepest points below the water table, specialized coatings and drainage systems keep tunnels dry. BIM modeling. Detailed 3D modeling guides the excavation and construction process and helps coordinate between teams. By employing these and other innovative techniques, the builders of the Grand Paris Express are able to complete this massive expansion with relatively minimal impact at street level. Beyond expanding mobility options, the Grand Paris Express aims to spur wider social and economic development across the Paris region. By better connecting diverse neighborhoods and suburbs, the metro extension will help reduce inequality and bring more opportunities to disadvantaged areas. The new lines are also designed to stimulate real estate investment and construction around stations, creating new commerce and housing. With property values projected to rise, the metro expansion can help fund urban revitalization and growth. Additionally, by making public transit faster and easier, the Grand Paris Express will get more residents out of their cars. This is forecast to reduce traffic and greenhouse gas emissions, even as the region continues to expand. The project will additionally connect major trip generators like Charles de Gaulle Airport, Versailles, and important commercial hubs unlocking their growth potential. And venues for the 2024 Paris Olympics will be
be linked by the new metro lines. The Grand Paris Express represents a generational investment in the future shape of Paris and its region. The ripple effects of such large-scale infrastructure investment will be felt across areas from infrastructure to sustainability to the built environment and quality of life. The ambitious scale and visionary nature of the Grand Paris Express make it one of the most significant infrastructure projects underway in Europe today. By revolutionizing mobility for millions of residents, it provides a model for how major cities can invest in sustainable transit and responsibly expand to meet the needs of the future. The project promises to transform not just how Parisians get around, but also the economic and social fabric of this global city. With its innovative construction techniques and integration with other sustainable modes, the Grand Paris Express helps cement Paris's position at the forefront of urban transportation. What are your thoughts on this mega metro expansion? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, check out the unprecedented development reshaping Kabul in our video, The Future of Afghanistan Unveiled.